Hello everyone, David here. Welcome to today's video. This is a closer look of the practice rotor that I have since a very, very long time. It is from a Honda CX500. This practice has five different playing areas. Three are on this side and when I turn it 180 degrees I have also two more uh, playing surfaces so that means on this side here I have first the playing surface here on that ring with the five holes and then the basket right here and then this big ring right there and when I turn it 180 degree I have also this playing surface here and then finally the ring and so the side the edge so that means I have six playing surfaces but I'm using five. So now let's demonstrate you these different kinds of playing surfaces. I want to begin with this particular side. So we have here on the ring and on the basket right here a very, very, very dry, extremely short sustain, but a very, very great stick definition with an interesting feature. The stick position changes the tone like it does in a great, great symbol. So I want to demonstrate that now for you. We can hear that all triggers also hear that ring and this is the third playing surface. We can hear a very short but harmonic sound and a wonderful stick definition. And now when I turn that 180 degree I have now two more playing surfaces which are the inner side here of the basket and the edge of the practice so I can change here wonderfully the stick position and get different sounds out of it so I will demonstrate that So what we hear is a much more longer sustain but still very dry and nice sounding. And when I play the disc of the edge we can hear the wonderful bass sound it produces. So a wonderful bass sound with an extremely high amount of resonance and a very powerful root tone. And uh, when you find a practice or practice rotor, try it out and see what it sounds like. And maybe you can use it on your drum set. So... Thanks for watching and goodbye.